The Bakken Pipeline, or the Dakota Access Pipeline Project, is set to run 1,172 miles from the Bakken Formation down to Illinois. After several years of protesting that resulted in the halting of construction of the Keystone XL Pipeline, the Dakota Access Pipeline Project has received full regulatory permission to begin construction in just a matter of months. The $3.8 billion Dakota Access Pipeline is slated to be the same length as the KXL, and carry the same volume of half a million barrels a day. But Dakota Access is a unit of energy transfer partners out of Texas that has former Texas Governor Rick Perry on the board, and was granted the powers of eminent domain by the Iowa Utilities Board, a three-person committee appointed by Rick Perry's friend, Iowa Governor Terry Bronstad. So ETP was given the power of eminent domain to take land away from private landowners to build a for-profit private pipeline that rivals the Keystone XL in length and volume. The primary concern, besides the superheating of the atmosphere as a result of the burning of fossil fuels that's endangering much of the world's ecosystem, is the Bakken Pipeline route takes it through forests, farmland, sacred native land, and across the Big Sioux, the Missouri, and the Mississippi, in some cases multiple times. Even though pipelines are said to spill less often than the notorious bomb trains, they are found by the International Energy Agency to spill three times the volume. Enbridge, a stakeholder in the Bakken Pipeline, just spilled 1.2 million gallons of oil into the Kalamazoo River six years ago, which ended up being one of the worst inland spills in American history, and now they're trying to assure us that they can operate a 1,200-mile-long pipeline without similar incident. Since the pipeline was approved in late July, more than a thousand activists, including the actress Shailene Woodley, have come from all over the country to help physically blockade the construction of the pipeline. Since the creation of Sacred Stone Camp, 28 activists have been arrested, including 12 people on August 12th and 6 on August 13th that included the chairman and the councilman of the Standing Rock Reservation. So many busloads of protesters were coming from native reservations all over the country that police set up traffic checkpoints to turn away anyone suspected of heading towards the blockade. Until on August 17th, Dakota Access agreed to remove its machinery and halt construction of the pipeline until a hearing could be held in Washington, D.C. on August 24th. And so the fight for a clean energy future continues. To support the Sacred Stone Spirit Camp, go to GoFundMe.com slash Sacred Stone Camp. To learn more or to get involved, go to Camp of the Sacred Stone on Facebook, at Sacred Stone Camp on Twitter, or for more content like the video you just watched, subscribe to the Lucid Lorax YouTube channel.